Good morning. This is PJ. I'm here in my office. It is Thursday, March 17th, 2022. Or what some people say is St. Patrick's Day. We're here for our three readings today. Psalm 63, 1 through 8 is our psalm reading. Daniel 3, 19 through 30 is our Old Testament reading. Revelation chapter 2, verses 8 through 11 is going to be our New Testament reading. And remember that it is Thursday, so we are now looking ahead to what's going to happen on church on Sunday. Let us take a listen in to our scriptures. First, Psalm 63, 1 through 8. God, you're my God. I can't get enough of you. I've worked up such a hunger and thirst for God traveling across dry and weary deserts. So here I am in the place of worship, eyes open, drinking in your strength and glory in your generous love. I am really living at last. My lips brim praises like fountains. I bless you every time I take a breath. My arms wave like banners of praise to you. I eat my fill of prime rib and gravy. I smack my lips. It's time to shout praises. If I'm sleepless at midnight, I spend the hours in grateful reflection because you've always stood up for me. I'm free to run and play. I hold on to you for dear life and you hold me steady as a post. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Daniel. Chapter 3, verses 19 through 30. Nebuchadnezzar, his face purple with anger, cut off Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace fired up seven times hotter than usual. He ordered some strong men from the army to tie them up, hands and feet, and to throw them into the roaring furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego bound hand and foot, fully dressed from head to toe, were pitched in to the roaring fire. Because the king was in such a hurry, and the furnace was so hot, flames from the furnace killed the men who carried Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to it, while the fire raged around. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Suddenly, King Nebuchadnezzar jumped up in alarm and said, Did we throw... Three men bound hand and feet into the fire? That's right, O king, they said. But look, he said, I see four men walking around freely in the fire, completely unharmed. And the fourth man looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar went to the door of the roaring furnace and called in, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Servants of the high God, come out here. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego walked out of the fire. All the important people, the government leaders, the king's counselors, gathered around and they kind of examined them and discovered that the fire hadn't so much touched the three men. Not a hair cinch, not a scorch mark on their clothes, not even a smell of the fire on them. Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He sent his angels and rescued his servants and trusted in him. They ignored the king's orders and laid the bodies on the line, rather than serve or worship any god but their own. Therefore, I issue this decree. Anyone, anywhere, of any race, color, or Crete, who says anything against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego will be ripped to pieces, limb from limb, and their houses torn down. There has never been a God who can pull off a rescue like this. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Our New Testament reading today comes from the book of Revelations, chapter 2. Verses 8 and 11. Write this to Smyrna, to the angel of the church, the beginning and the ending, the first and the final one, the once dead, and then come alive, speaks. I can see your pain 
and poverty, constant pain, dire poverty, but I also see your wealth. And I hear the lie and the claims of those who pretend to be good Jews, who in fact belong to Satan's crowd. Fear nothing in the things you're about to suffer, but stay on guard. Fear nothing. The devil is about to throw you in jail for a time of testing. Ten days. It won't last forever. Don't quit, even if it costs you your life. Stay there believing. I have a life crown size ready for you. Are your ears awake? Listen. Listen to the wind words. The spirit blowing through the churches. Christ conquerors are safe from devil death. And here ends our readings for the day. Have a beautiful day.